Google, aka Alphabets, reported better than expected second quarter results as it got a boost from advertising in its Google search business and in YouTube, its video sharing site. Also, online advertise advertisers have spent more time in recent months after the pullback, according to the Wall Street Journal. Now, breakdown of the numbers earnings were $1.44 a share, beating expectations, and revenue rose 7% to $774.6 billion. Google search revenue rose nearly 5%, and ad revenue from YouTube rose more than 4%. Cloud revenue rose 28%. So regarding the cloud revenue, they reported record operating income of three hundred and ninety five million compared with an operating loss of five hundred and ninety million in the second quarter of last year. Overall, it was Google's second straight quarter of accelerating revenue growth. And as you can see, pre market, uh, we should pop higher, roughly seven dollars. But let's go to the monthly chart first. And what you can see is that for the past two months, including the current month, we've had indecision candles, uh, which just means that the buyers and sellers are duking out for position. As a result, price has been range bound from the 116 level to the 128 level. However, currently in pre market, price is trading at 129.81. Now, there are a couple more trading days in the month however if this candle closes bullish green and closes above the 128 level two things it no longer is in this resistance support level at 129 and based on the fundamentals and recent results from earnings price has the opportunity to move higher uh, my next target is going to be these two wicks, which represents selling pressure at the 144 level. Now let's scroll down to the weekly chart. And although price has been basing for the last couple of months, price has on the weekly chart been respecting this 13 simple weekly moving average, which is bullish which means that prices were just taking a pause from the October November lows and the breakout is occurring on on news now again if price closes above the 128 level on the monthly chart according to the weekly chart there are no sellers until you get to 140 now let's go down to the weekly chart uh, daily chart And again, you can see this constant consolidation. Um, usually on a breakout, there has to be some type of news. And in this case, the catalyst was earnings. And again, just to kind of uh, further um, scrutiny of the price action on the daily chart this time frame. You have a couple of gaps, uh, but there's no real um, sell volume which means that there are no real buyers um, until you can get to this uh, 144 level, right? If you think about it, there was a reason why price pulled back, stopped here, and then you had this massive leg down, right? This level there has to be sellers. So let's see how things go. Um, we do have FMOC, FOMC today. Um, we do anticipate a 25 percent uh, a 0.25 percent 25 basis point hike so that's already pr should be priced in it depends on what Powell says moving forward um, that's going to dictate direction of Google as well so there you have it again another decent earnings report from Google uh, again pulling back to the monthly chart uh, price should continue to rise along with the overall market thanks for watching subscribe please like the video